So good morning, Youngstown. Good morning. Thank you. Um, I have a speech ready, and I, I, I may get to it, but I'm gonna go over my points. First of all, like I said, I'm, I'm the son of a Pentecostal preacher, and um, everybody knows we've been going through some things at Youngstown. It's, it's gonna take some time to turn it around. It's definitely gonna take some time, but it's, it's a community effort. It's not an effort by me. I, when I first walked in, I, I told my staff, I'm not Superman. I can't do this by myself. And even being in this position after five years, I realized I need more community than what I originally thought. So please understand that. Whatever we do, whatever decision I make, it's always what's best for kids. I'm sorry, I get a little emotional. But thank you, God, for the opportunity to be able to talk about the good things that we're doing. Because often you don't, you don't get to hear those good things. One, one of those things that we're focused on right now is, is our STEAM program. So we do STEAM, not STEM. So anybody who understands the difference between STEAM and STEM, we added arts to that because we want our, our scholars to be critical thinkers. We want them to be able to be the workforce that uh, Mr. Scott was talking about. You have, to, you have to realize that what we're doing right now is gonna be an impetus to the future of everybody in here. If we don't create a workforce in Youngstown and retain our students, we, we're doomed to fail. And in order for us to do that, everybody has to take part in it. Everybody has to take part in it. That means not, everybody in here knows our literacy. Literacy scores are not where they should be. But I can tell you, we're working hard, as a matter of fact. This, if anybody, if you're in a political climate, the science of reading right now is the buzzword all over the country. Every governor, every lawmaker, they're going through the science of reading. But guess what? Youngstown City Schools, have, we've been using the science of reading for the last three years. And if you look at our test scores, they are going up. Now, in, anybody who knows me, the impetus of, of my success is not test scores. It's actually retaining the talent that we create. Because one of the things you get with, with our graduates is when, when they leave, they say to me, I'm not coming back. And that's not a good thing for us. It's not a positive thing for us. But we're working to make sure that we do that. Along, along with, with the science of reading, our healthcare system, in, in, our, in our city has, has gotten a lot better. We have new care clinics in each one of our uh, schools. That's something that we didn't have before. So when we started, um, COVID, when COVID started, we started doing those things. We, we found out at the time, when I got here, there was no pediatricians in the city of Youngstown. So part of our attendance issues were, we had students who did not have vaccinations, and by law, they were not coming to school, which is an issue, because we need them. Butts in the seat equals dollars and equals success for us. And we have to realize that. Not only with those you care plans, we, we also, if, if you see, there's a little pink band of pink RV that's going around right now. That's our dental RV. We created a dental RV because a lot of our students, they were not going to the dentist until they were in their teens. So can you imagine that? So we, we've done that. Our next step is an ophthalmology and audiology band. Because guess what? We have a lot of students who sit in our classroom who don't see well and they don't hear well. And if we don't offer that service, they won't, they won't be the students that we need them to be. Um, as you saw on Tuesday, we also have launched our, kind of launched an athletic program. We launched our athletic program. So we have the football field. Anybody who ran state, we have the football field. Sorry about the Y, the Ray. The, the Ray, the Ray graduate, I'm sorry, but your name's not at the top, but hey, I, I'm academic, so we did it in alphabetical order, all right? Also on Tuesday, we launched our baseball field for East and Cheney. We also have a practice football field going up at East, and we also have a new track going up at Cheney. So we are trying to do those things. We are trying to do those things to improve. It's, it's